Hi, this is Mohit here. A lot of you are fans of the Mercedes G Class. In India, we have a company called Force, which has made a vehicle just like the G Class. So here is the 2022 Gurkha 4x4. It's a three-door SUV, and you can see how it looks. It's a very masculine-looking SUV. It has got the DRL headlights. You know, I think the only thing missing is the Mercedes logo here. If it would have been, it would look like the G-Class for sure from the front. Maybe a little better. So this is powered by 2500cc engine. It's a diesel engine. It's a very basic car, but a very strong vehicle, which the Indian Army also uses. So here, if we see, we have the 17, 18-inch wheels here, which looks really good. The, the quality of steel nowadays is not that good. So if you see, it does not uh, give you that, it does not give you that uh, very strong feeling when you are banging the car. The best part about this car is that you can see how short it is. It's not a very long car. So off-roading or going on rough surfaces is very, very easy. They have given the given the rails which you can uh, step on it because the car is very high, you're seating very high. So you need those rails. So this is the sign of uh, 4x4x4. It's a three-door vehicle. It has only four seating capacity. Behind there are only two captain seats. Ahead only two people. No, uh, no more can fit in. Five people cannot fit in at all. Here if you see the design, it looks very raw. It looks like an expedition car where you would take it to Goa or to uh, take it to, you know, other cities or other exploring places which you have never been to. And you don't need to be worried about taking this car at all. Here, if you see, you have the dicky here, which is not that big, but reasonably okay. For four people, I think the luggage can easily fit in. And uh, getting in and out for the last row seats happens from the dicky. It's the easiest from the dicky. It bangs on also like the Mercedes G-Class. And if you see, they have given the full-size spare wheel tires, which is very, very good. Now, also, if you have uh, two, three vehicles going along with you, and if one gets stuck somewhere or gets spoiled somewhere, or your car is stuck somewhere or spoiled somewhere, you can even use this grab bar for uh, with a rope, what they're given with the Gurkha for to drag a vehicle or take out a vehicle or take out an animal which is stuck. You know, you can use it for anything. If you see, we have the exhaust pipes which are being connected up so that it can go through water as well. Maybe this height of water wouldn't be a problem for this car at all. So opening the door of this car, what I love about, the first thing what I love about this car is, it has a handle here. Opening this car is really cool from the front. So you just press this and it just opens and the door opens. Now, as you can see that the seat is very, very high, maybe higher than my BMW as well. Now sitting inside, you have to sit like this. They have given the grab handles here. Okay. So you have to first hold the grab handle, put your leg here, stand up and then sit. So if you can see, I'm 5'11". The, the hindrance as soon as you get in uh, to this vehicle is that you'll be banging here on the steering. You cannot uh, move the steering any, any more higher than this. So you will have to literally find your spot. And once you find your spot, it's comfortable. You know, it, it does not hinder anywhere. Seats are comfortable. Headrest is there. And, uh, you know, you feel like you're on the sky because it's really, really high. Okay. And you actually feel like you're driving a G-Class, except maybe for the interior you actually would feel like you're driving the G-Class. So I love, I, love the, uh, I love the steering. The steering is pretty cool. The interior is also decent. This is not a vehicle which you take to uh, have good interiors. They never have good interiors. Basic interiors what they have. So here we are inside Force Gurkha 4x4. And as you can see, I'm sitting way high. Now here we have the gear shifter. Here we have, this is a 4x4 vehicle. So the differential locking system is here. Now, here we have the basic lights, all buttons. Okay, so very easy to use. Very basic, wouldn't have a problem, no touch, no nothing. Okay, so it's very basic. Very easy to use. Here we have the AC vents. Here we have a touch screen uh, uh, audio system. 
for radio it has uh, apple car play as well as android car play so you don't have to worry about it now it has two airbags one is here one is here so i'll show you how do you sit behind you have to first open your dicky boot and here if you see you have the grab bar you have the step and you have to get on it and this is how you come on the back seat it's very funny and i don't think uh my mom or any 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 moms or grandmothers who are above the age of 50 or have knee problems or you know have back problems would be able to climb in all the way and sit in comfortably so you know i'm young okay if you have just two friends we are young people and we can climb anywhere we can jump anywhere so it doesn't matter to us so you can see that i'm very very comfortable these are captain seats so you have your own uh, hand rest and uh, the view on the side is awesome because it's fully glassed it's fully glassed and you can see everything you know ahead also so i think it's pretty good and uh, because it's captain seats you can move around you know in a long journeys you can keep your leg like this you can if you're sitting with your girlfriend you can just sit like this and uh, you know chit chat or you can sit in your normal position and have fun yeah now just imagine if you have your parents sitting here so how do they get out imagine if they are going for a party and you are taking this car and you know you want to get out so this is how you get out so first you have to bend all the way to hold this bar you have to hold this bar step on and jump now this is not possible by older people at all especially who are having knee problems or back problem they will get hurt or they will slip now i am going to take you why these people who buy these vehicles really buy the vehicle first is for your looks second is the way it feels when you drive it so come let me take you for a drive so here we are inside i will just show you how this vehicle sounds when it starts inside so you can see it's not very loud it's not like a tractor or anything when it starts it's pretty quiet car as compared to that but not as quiet as a bmw or a mercedes which we don't even expect out of these vehicles the ac is very loud yeah so you can uh, definitely hear the fan moving now as you can see that you are sitting very high and you can see i can see the bonnet very clearly it's a very uh, short vehicle so uh, i'm not really worried about uh, ki uh, somebody would hit me or things like that or parking is a problem no not at all it's not an automatic car force does not give this an automatic it's going to come i think very soon so it's a gear reliever so you will be moving your left foot quite a lot and in traffic it can it can really really bother you i can bet you on that especially in traffic conditions if you are at a place where there is not much traffic and you are not uh, you are not moving in stop and go traffic too much it's okay now the best part about this car is that when you are moving you don't have to worry about if somebody hits you or bangs you or anything nothing you have to worry about you can just drive and everybody will move out because you know i don't know if it's a size or if it's the way it looks but people feel that uh, it's better to stay away from this kind of suv now this is a 2500 cc engine with about uh, about approximately about 90 bhp and a power of about i think 150 it's not much okay but uh, but it's it's reasonably okay now this this does not this is not the kind of suv where you just press the accelerator and the car will move no it has a big lag and i will show you that lag right now when i accelerate so if you can see oh my god this see like when you press down the accelerator you will feel you you will feel that jerk you will feel that jerk and your passengers and the especially the passengers behind will definitely feel the jerk and now if you see if i raise full accelerator it's not fast you know and uh, it hardly touches 100 i 
I think 100 it would touch maybe in about 20, 30 seconds or maybe more. It's a kind of a car which you can just ride. You don't have to worry about the potholes at all. Just go through. Just go through. While in my BMW, I would think twice, you know, I would try to dodge it. Okay, but here, just go through. Change lanes, the steering is very light. Very light. Okay, but you have to keep both your hands very much. Because any jerk, anything comes in, the steering will move, you know. But if you can see that the steering is very light. Obviously, it's a very high car, so body roll will be there. But that's okay. That's expected out of this car. Now, who should buy these cars? Okay. These cars are not meant for family at all. Let me just be very, very honest. It's not meant for family. Yes. Maybe if your husband and wife and your children who are young, and you never have your mom and dad or something sitting in your car, fine. No problem in that at all. You know, the husband can go to work. The wife can go to work with this car. No problem in that at all. But if you have your mom and dad sitting in a car or some you want comfort or things like that, no, this is, this is not the car for you. Because first is that if you are going to be driving this car, your left foot is going to pain. Okay? It is going to pain because... Being used to automatic now, every, every car, you know, small, big, every cars are automatic these days. And uh, if you are used to that, and if you start, you know, with this car, with a, with a clutch, very difficult. I mean, your leg will pain. After some time, you'll get tired of this car. You do often big trips and things like that. And you want to go to places like in villages and things like that, where you don't even know that if there will be roads or not. So you can, you can take this. but. I mean, for the city, it may be cumbersome, especially for people who are driving through traffic every day. Please do not take this car. This is not meant for traffic at all. Now, low speed ride quality is fairly good. I would say it is fairly good. It does not jump around too much. But the passenger sitting behind will jump like anything. Anything. I have my camera guy sitting behind. Okay. And uh, <laughs> he would... If I go through a speed breaker without, you know, slowing it down, he, he will fly off the roof. For sure. That's how the suspension is. So, you can see that. But low speed ride quality is good. It does not, it is not very rough at all. And the best part is very easy to drive. Very easy. You can see both the sides. You can see the bullet, which is not that big, like the G-Class. Actually, I feel that this is much more drivable than the Mercedes G-Class. I can tell you that. I've driven the G-Class and I can tell you this is much more easier to drive than the G-Class. G-Class is very huge, width-wise, length-wise. This is like you get the whole look and the feel of a G-Class. You feel strong sitting inside. You feel like bloody hell. You know, if somebody wants to bag me, bag me. I don't care. You know, I won't even come to fight with you. You can, you can hit me and go. Also, people look at this vehicle when you're driving. Okay, I mean, this is this is not a very common vehicle in India, but people will look at, Ki, oh, what is he driving? What is he driving? Because from far away, it looks like a G-Class van. You know, surprisingly, it looks like a G-Class. Not interior-wise, but exterior. Uh, this clutch kills van. I can tell you, like, I'm so used to driving automatic that I'm not used to using my left foot. And uh, now when I'm... Especially in traffic conditions, it's horrible, boss. Horrible. Like, I would not even touch this car. Now, this car is meant for guys or girls, okay? Who are young, okay? Who want to, like, go to different, different places, explore, maybe take this car out on a Saturday, Sunday, where there's no traffic, or live in the villages and things like Punjab, Haryana, and things like that, Northeast, you know? Like, it's meant for them. You know, you go for a Ladakh trip, things like that. But city, this car is not practical. It is not practical. Unless and until you are a loner or you just have few friends, okay, and uh, you're single, okay, awesome, buy this car. If you're single, buy this car. No, no issues in that at all. You can easily manage. Now, another big problem when you take this such kind of cars to shopping malls is that shopping malls don't have that height you know to fit this car this car is very tall this suv is very tall 
so they give you a different spot where you can park this car just so that you know now in traffic and all driving is very easy only thing is that the clutch you know the gear system like uh, it it takes a toll on you if you are driving in one hour traffic two hour traffic especially andheri people no ways i i would not touch this car now here we have the thar now i have driven the thar as well and i find this 100 times better than the thar boss very clear i am very clear like i have no emotion with thar or things like that but i'm just telling you up front that this car beats thar any day any day so the on road of this car is somewhere around 18 lakhs it is not cheap it's expensive in 18 lakhs you would get an mg hector as well you know which is meant for comfort you know like uh, your parents can sit in your children can sit in aram se comfortably they can go more equipment more airbags more safety systems good looking you know things like that and uh, but this car usually people buy it out of a uh, emotion it's from the heart it's nothing to do with practicality it's nothing to do with usage it has nothing i can assure you this car people buy it only because they feel that they want to sit in this you know because at this price point of 18 lakhs you have more way more better cars in the market now you know you have kia you have mg mg hector is like really really cool at this price point okay way more cars this you buy it because you like to feel macho you know when you sit in it you automatically get that 20% uh, you know uh, dosage of steroids yeah that you feel that bloody really nobody can stop you and uh, that's how you drive like look at look at me driving like this you know otherwise in an mg hector you would be driving nicely like this like a good boy in this you become a bad boy this car does not have any kind of speed so you can't race with this car you can't like do a 0 to 100 shit with this car at all okay this car is meant for driving leisurely yeah and in the highways and all yes you can accelerate it but it's not going to touch and by when you touch 150 or 120 your steering is going to shake you're going to feel a lot of vibration but that's pretty okay now you can see we are going through some rough patches and you can feel it i can feel it but you know i can't i can't say that it's it's a bad car because of that because this car is not meant for comfort this car is meant to feel good it's a feel good factor okay where you don't have to worry about suspension or you don't have to worry about speed breakers bad roads nothing you just go just go okay wear your seat belts and just go now if you ask me the passenger sitting behind are they comfortable no when you're driving this car okay especially when you're going through rough patches your passenger is going to move around a lot a lot okay they are not going to be comfortable and especially if you have motion sickness please don't sit behind you'll definitely vomit two things i love about this car one is that the ease to ride in the sense that you are sitting very high you can see everything okay and the feel of it what you get when you're driving it second is the look of this car from outside these are the only two good things about this car other than that i would not spend 18 lakhs on a car like this okay car like this is meant for young people who may be just married this car is of my brother in law he just bought it just married so they are exploring man they are going here they you know they go in the night for ice creams they go uh, to check out different places and you know for them it works because they are young people you know it doesn't matter if they have to jump in jump out or anything like that they feel good sitting in this car 